She's a 21-year-old who embodies the best of her Portuguese South African roots. Until she was crowned, Marilyn was studying interior architecture here in Pretoria, where we met up for some pointers on staying in shape. How does it feel being crowned the most beautiful woman in South Africa? <laughs> it's like four months down the line, it still sounds crazy and insane. <laughs> um, coming from student life, you know, going to campus, jeans and t-shirt, to going to the gym whenever I want. Now I've got to literally fit my training in between my schedule, meetings, crazy responsibilities, but it's been a roller coaster. <laughs> well, one definite reward is looking at those gorgeous guys with those amazing six packs. I want to look like that in female form. <laughs> I think we should go and join them. <laughs> You only come to Vilma Uppel's gym if you mean business, and that suits Marilyn. She was already walking at nine months of age, and by the time she reached high school in Clarksdorp, she was a swimmer, gymnast, hockey player, and an equestrian. How many reps can you do? <laughs> I'll try for a button. <laughs> How important is it for you to look good and feel good? I think it should be one of the top priorities for anybody, whether they've got a title or not. <laughs> we have to make the time for ourselves as well. I mean, we're living in such a busy life, we're literally stuck in this rat race, and our physical health and I just, I think our mental well-being also depends on how much time we put into ourselves. So training for me, I try to make the best of it and I try to make it as often as possible. Should we do a competition rep? Okay, let's, yeah. let's try. Let's show everybody that Miss South Africa is not just about beauty. Oh yeah. <laughs> she, she, she's got a lot of muscle. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's okay. Five, six, seven, go. And one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Who's going to stop first? Not me. <laughs> See South Africa. She's a tap cookie. <laughs> well done. Awesome. I'm impressed. <laughs> After that, some calories were definitely allowed. And so we joined Marilyn's mum, Yalundi, for tea and cake. While this country girl admits to how much she learned from her fellow contestants who hail from other provinces and big cities, her mum's clearly been her biggest influence and her best life coach. What special qualities do you think won her the Miss South Africa title? She's true. She's a true person. What you see is what she gets. She's never tried to be somebody else. No, not pretentious. <laughs> yes, not at all. And, um, you know, she wouldn't change anything about herself just to become a South Africa. Uh, her words, not mine, they take me for who and what I am. If I win this, it's because of who and what I am. So I think that is the best quality, to be able to achieve something in life as the person who you are and not trying to be somebody else to get where you want to be. From what I've seen, you and your mom have a very close relationship. Yeah, we are very close, but I think we fight a lot, we share tears, we share smiles, we share laughs. Um, my mom's my, my traveling buddy, <laughs> so we're always traveling together and that makes things very special as well. I mean, we share so many memories which is just between my mom and I and also the fact that Miss South Africa is eating a huge slice of chocolate cake on national <laughs> TV <laughs> spreading the sweetness Marilyn invited us to a dream spa day with the reach for a dream foundation as Bromwyn Feldwick Davis explained every year Mangwanani Spa hosts a special day for some exceptional children. What's the vision behind this initiative? It's about fulfilling dreams for children fighting life-threatening illnesses. So the idea behind it is that we inspire hope. We give the children and their families an opportunity to dream about something, to focus on something other than the illness. And you know what, if you can have that dream fulfilled, anything is possible. Marilyn is also involved in another Reach for a Dream project called Queen for a Day. It helps build confidence in young girls dealing with life-threatening illnesses. What did you enjoy? <laughs> it was cool and, and it was fun and, and I love it. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Where Marilyn's gorgeous face and embracing warmth and generosity go, the cameras are sure to follow, shining a light wherever it's needed. This is such a special treat, especially after this morning's workout. <laughs> How did you get involved with Reach for a Dream? Well, after being crowned Miss SA, I've automatically become an ambassador for them. Um, and I really enjoy the project that they have. I mean, we work with these amazing little girls that 
they inspire me I think more than what I could inspire them now it's almost crunch time Miss World and Miss Universe are coming up very soon how are you feeling um, the beginning of the year when I saw some of the girls from last year's competitions I was like what these women are like picture perfect and I was like how am I ever gonna compete against girls like this and then I just thought back you know if I had to compare myself to the beginning of the Miss SA journey until the crowning I'd grown so much in the meantime so I know that by the time it's the Miss World pageant in September I will be more than ready. Well we'll definitely be there in the front line going go Marilyn, go Marilyn, go Marilyn, go Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs>